This gamer locks himself in his apartment while a virus rampages the entire city. And alone, he tries to survive. Alrighty, folks, listen up. Today, I've got this awesome South Korean horror zombie flick called Alive to tell you about. So, we're in this South Korean city, and our main dude, Jun Woo, is a real gaming fanatic. He's got his own studio and loads of fans, living the dream with his fam, parents, and sister. But here's where things get crazy. One fine morning, Jun Woo wakes up late, and guess what? Emergency news on the TV starts freaking out about some serious weirdness going down. The city is going bonkers. People attacking each other out of the blue, and the government's totally lost control. Like, they're advising everyone to stay locked up in their homes for safety. Why? Because people are turning into zombies, man! From his apartment balcony, Jun Woo sees the whole horror show live and direct. The ground's a total mess. People screaming, running, and going nuts. But wait, there's more! Knock, knock on Jun Woo's door, and who's there? His neighbor, all freaked out, saying his own brother's gone full-on zombie mode. Poor guy needs a place to crash, and he's begging Jun Woo for help. So there you have it. Jun Woo's stuck in the middle of a zombie apocalypse, and his neighbor's looking for a safe haven. Man, Jun Woo was freaking terrified. He was like, get out of here, dude, and even threatened the guy with a golf club. But then, things got even crazier. After using Jun Woo's bathroom, the guy started showing zombie symptoms. His eye went all red, and bam, he turned into a full-on zombie. Jun Woo had to defend himself, so he fought the zombie guy and kicked him out of his place. But you won't believe it. Another big zombie showed up and chowed down on the first zombie. Like, they weren't just attacking people, they were munching on each other too. Insane, right? Even the TV news was confirming this messed up behavior. Later, Jun Woo got a message from his parents saying they were okay for now. His dad yelled at him to stay alive, and he put that message up on his family photo as a reminder. Smart move, I guess. He had to start rationing his food and surviving on his own. The next day, he sent out an SOS message with his name and address on social media. And get this. He used his drone, mobile, and VR headset to check out the destruction in his neighborhood. Yo, so this dude was chilling, browsing the web on his Wi-Fi, and then BAM! He loses the connection. Later that night, there's this lady cop trying to survive in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. She's packing a service gun and takes down a couple of those undead freaks, but sadly, she ends up becoming zombie chow too. From his balcony, our main dude, Jun Woo, sees the whole messed up scene. He's like, oh no, I gotta help! So he shouts to warn the zombies away from the lady cop. But guess what? That backfires and the zombies now know where he's at. These zombies are no joke. They still got some smarts from their human days. Good hearing and all. Jun Woo manages to blast one of the big zombies, but another one decides to pay him a personal visit. It's a showdown at his apartment. Luckily, Jun Woo pulls a sneaky move and the zombie falls to its doom from the balcony. But dang, the lady cop's gun is just lying there on the ground, waiting for someone to grab it. Next day rolls around, and Jun Woo's running out of drinkable water. Desperate times call for desperate measures, so he starts sipping on his old man's hard liquor to keep going. Gotta survive, right? He decides to cover up his balcony windows too, just to stay safe from those pesky zombies. Fast forward to day 10, and things are looking bleak. Jun Woo's weak from barely eating and drinking all that booze. He tries to turn on his radio for some company, but his phone's missing a 3.5 mm audio jack, which he needs for an antenna. Man, this dude's in a real tough spot. He's going through some crazy stuff. He starts seeing things, like hallucinating about his parents and sis. And then, boom, he gets this audio message from his dad. But guess what? It's the last message ever. He hears his fam screaming and turning into zombies. And that's just too much for him to handle. He loses all hope and goes on a zombie bashing spree outside his place. But wait, the zombies gang up on him. And he's like, I gotta get back to my apartment, man. So he runs back there. Now it's day 20, and the government's bombing the outskirts of the city. Things are getting real bad, and Jun Woo's lost all hope, food, and any desire to keep going. He's feeling like, I'm done with this life. So he decides to end it all and goes for hanging himself. But hold up, something happens. But there's this crazy laser light that distracts him, and it points to this wise saying on the wall that's like, faith is believing in what you can't see. And Jun Woo's like, whoa, that's deep. He looks towards the light, and there's this teenage girl named Yu Bin in the opposite apartment. She's been stuck there for days, too. So, like, the next day, Yubin totally owns a zombie using just a handheld hatchet. She's such a badass compared to Jun Woo. Those zombies are attracted to noise, so they start talking in sign language and texting each other on their phones to stay quiet. Yubin notices that the eighth floor in Jun Woo's apartment building is empty. It's like the top floor. Now, Yubin comes up with a genius plan to connect directly with Jun Woo so they can share food and stuff. She ties a string to a baseball and throws it with all her might, 
but it goes kaput and falls to the ground. Bummer! But Jun Wu is quick on the uptake and attaches a string to his drone, flying it right over to Yu Bin's place. Nice teamwork! Yu Bin shares some grub with Jun Wu and everything seems cool. But then, out of the blue, a firefighter zombie stumbles upon Yu Bin's baseball and starts tugging the string attached to it. The string was connected to a table in Yu Bin's place, and when he pulls it, bam! The table smacks into Yu Bin, knocking her off her feet. These zombies, man, they keep some of their previous skills, and this one was good at climbing. He starts scaling the place. Jun Wu tries to distract him with his drone, but it's a total fail. Things are getting intense. So this zombie grabs a drone out of the air and smashes it like it's no big deal. Then it climbs up to Yu Bin's balcony, and right when it gets there, she wakes up and takes it down with a freaking hatchet. Total boss move! Later that night, Ju Wu sneaks into his neighbor's house using the key he swiped from another zombie that invaded his place. And guess what? He finds a lady's dead body in there. Creepy, right? But that's not all. He grabs some snacks from the kitchen and goes all Indiana Jones in the storeroom. Found some random stuff like a 3.5 mm audio jack, walkie talkies, and hiking gear. Turns out that zombie dude's brother was a hiking enthusiast turned zombie. Who would have thought? But wait, the story's not over. Just when Ju Wu thinks he's safe, the zombie bro shows up out of nowhere and goes all attack mode on him. Luckily, he manages to escape with a little scuffle. Then he tries to use the radio with some fancy audio jack he found, but no luck. The radio's busted too. Tough break, man. But here's the cool part. Ju Wu decides to share some of his stash with Yu Bin. He makes his way over to her and they actually talk for the first time. Like real conversation and stuff. They share food and stories about their lives. Yu Bin confesses she's afraid of heights. Which is ironic, considering they collect water straight from the rain. After a few days, those zombies went all crazy and aggressive because they couldn't find any fresh food either. So, Yu Bin and Jun Wu decided it was way too risky to stay in their apartments any longer. Yu Bin came up with a brilliant plan to move to the 8th floor since it looked like nobody was there. They grabbed a rope and jumped from their apartment window like action heroes. It was intense! They went on a zombie killing spree, taking them down left and right. Yu Bin even grabbed a cop's gun from the ground and started blasting zombies like a pro. Finally, they made it to the 8th floor, but darn it, the zombies were still hot on their heels. The situation seemed hopeless until a new guy appeared and pulled them into his apartment just in time. Talk about a lifesaver! This guy gave them some food and water, but Yu Bin was skeptical at first. She eventually dug in, but little did they know he had put some kind of knockout drug in the food. They passed out like light bulbs! Turns out, this dude's wife was a zombie, and he had locked her up in the bedroom. She was starving, poor thing. When Yu Bin woke up, she was in for a horrifying surprise. The guy was using her as bait for his zombified wife. Jun Wu came to the rescue, pointing his gun at the guy, but it turns out he was just a wannabe, a video game gun peddler who couldn't muster the guts to shoot in real life. Listen up! In the room, Yu Bin comes up with this genius plan to trick the zombie lady. She covers her face with a cloth, and sets her loose on her own husband. That's when things get intense. The lady zombie starts attacking, but Yu Bin manages to snatch a gun from Jun Wu and takes them both out with headshots. Now here comes the action. The gunshot attracts all the other zombies nearby, and they start swarming their apartment like crazy. Yu Bin's worried she might be infected too, so she asks Jun Wu to put her out of her misery. But he's like, nah, I can't do that. Just when they thought things were hopeless, they hear the sound of a chopper flying around. They rush to the rooftop with a horde of zombies chasing after them. But when they get there, it's empty! Dang! They use their remaining bullets to fend off the zombies and pray for a miracle. And guess what? Their prayers get answered. An army helicopter shows up after a few nail-biting minutes. The army peeps take down some zombies and rescue Jun Wu and Yu Bin talk about luck. With the rescue, Jun Wu's phone signal comes back, and he sees a gazillion messages from friends and followers. Turns out, lots of people were using social media to give away their locations. Jun Wu's initial post got a whopping 1,200 plus likes, and that's what eventually saved their butts. That's how the zombie film Alive ends, folks. It's straightforward, but it's got all the good stuff, suspense, horror, emotions, and killer music. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to share, like, and comment. Thanks for watching.